Welcome back to the channel. Recently, I did a video on how I upgraded my Ford F-150 signal and brake lights to LEDs. And I liked the results so much that I thought I would do the same thing to my wife's 2021 Kia Sorento. In this video, I'll show you how you can upgrade your Kia Sorento to awesome LED lights in only seven minutes. Every time I'd see my wife's Sorento in traffic hitting the brakes or using turn signals, I was really underwhelmed by how dim and soft these lights were. The third brake light is fine, but the other turn signal and brake lights are inexpensive halogen bulbs to help Kia hit a price point with this car. As you can see, even the amber front turn signals are lame. I checked the OEM halogen bulbs and they're basically 1157 ths which is a very common brake and turn signal bulb. The idea here is to swap these out for LED lights, which are brighter and have much faster turn on time. As you'll see, the turn signals and brake lights from these LEDs are much more noticeable and you need every edge that you can get in today's distracted world. I contacted my friends at undergroundlighting.com and I soon had six new LED bulbs on the way. Now these are not just any LED bulbs that you get from Amazon. They have a built-in resistor which makes your car think that it's seeing a normal load. Cheap LED bulbs without this feature either need to have a load resistor added in parallel or you'll see hyper flashing where the turn signal runs twice as fast. This is how cars have been built for decades to let you know when a bulb is burned out. Let's get over to the installation. I'll show you how easy this is. All you need are two screwdrivers and seven minutes. Let's work on the front turn signals first. They're located in this socket on both sides underneath the hood. Twist this little tab counterclockwise and you can pop out the assembly. The old bulb untwists counterclockwise from the bayonet mount. So remove the old halogen and just pop in the special amber LED unit. You might have to twist it half a turn so the tabs line up and it locks into place on the socket. And then just twist the socket back into the hole once you get it lined up. The other side is exactly the same behind the windshield washer reservoir. Now let's do the rears. Use a flat blade screwdriver to open up these two tabs on the back of the taillight assembly. And then either use a nut driver or a Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws that hold in the taillight assembly. The entire taillight assembly pulls straight back out, although it might need some persuasion the first time you do this, as it'll be snug. Don't pull to the side, as there are two bosses that fit directly into the tail, and you'll break them if you pull to the side, so pull directly to the rear. Once you pull the assembly out, unplug the connector by pushing down on the tab and separating the two connector halves. Lay the taillight assembly down so you can change out the taillight and brake light bulbs. These are easy. Just unscrew them counterclockwise and remove and replace the lamp, making sure the bayonet socket is aligned correctly and they click in. Installation is just the opposite by plugging the connector back in, pushing the taillight assembly straight in, tightening the two screws, and then closing the two black tabs. Normally, I would test things out first before I button things up, but as you can see, it's so simple to put this together. It's almost foolproof. The procedure to upgrade the right side is exactly the same as the left side. Okay, let's step back and see what the new lights look like. 
I think you can see that they're much brighter than the halogen and the turn on time is much sharper and much more noticeable. Thanks for watching this video. I think these LED units are amazing because they make your vehicle a lot more noticeable and they give it sort of a premium look as well for very little additional cost. The fact that these are plug and play without the need of a ballast resistor and no hyper flashing makes this a no brainer for me. Upgrade your Sorrento in seven minutes. I'll see you in the next video.